everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can make the cat's paw knot. This is a fun and different way that you can attach your ropes to a dowel rod or a stick or whatever for your macrame projects. Let's get started. We're going to take our rope and fold it in half. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take and twist it so that we have a loop and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you just take it and kind of twist it around so you have two loops behind this string that hangs kind of horizontally. And then we're going to do the fun part of this knot, which is just to take these loops and twist them around themselves. So what I like to do is put my finger in each loop like that and I just twist once, twice, so as you can see it's twisting around itself. And you can do this up to three times, but I'm going to stop here for this one. And then I have these two loops still that my fingers were through. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and just send it right onto my dowel rod. Once you have slid it onto your dowel rod, you can adjust the looseness of this knot. So if you want it tighter, you just pull and kind of squish them all up like that. And so it would look something like that if it was tightened all the way. And if you want it looser, you just take and you pull them apart. Like that. And again, to tighten, you just push them all the way up. Loose, pull apart. <laughs> it's pretty fun and you can play around with it as much as you need to. Traditionally, you can make this up to three twists, but I suppose if you wanted to do more twists, you can also do that. And you can also only do one twist if you wanted to. I'm going to show you how to make this knot one more time, and this time I'm only going to do one twist. So again, fold your ropes in half, take it behind itself so you have two loops. Then I like to put my finger through each loop just to make it a little easier, and all we're going to do is twist it one whole time. And now we're going to take our loops that we have formed and you're just going to slide that right onto your dowel rod or whatever you're using to tie your macrame ropes to. And there you go, that is what it looks like pretty loose. This one next to it is semi-loose, but it's a lot tighter than this one. They both only have one twist. And so again, if I wanted to make this really tight, I just hold my strings like this, and then I push these up top and just pull as I'm doing that. And now it's all the way up top. And that, again, is one twist using the cat's paw knot. And so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring, and thank you so much for watching.